Hello everyone, in this video we are going to quickly revise galactosemia. So the deficiency of galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase enzyme will result in a classical galactosemia. Deficiency of galactokinase and UDP hexose 4 epimerase is also associated with the galactosemia. Deficiency of this enzyme will result in an accumulation of galactose 1-phosphate in liver, kidney and brain and because of that there will be the jaundice, hepatomegaly, seizures, mental retardation, failure to thrive and this galactose 1-phosphate galactose 1-phosphate will also inhibit the glycogen phosphorylase enzyme so it will result in a hypoglycemia. Apart from that this galactose will be reduced to uh, galactitol via polyol pathway and this galactitol will be deposited in the lens of eye and because of that there will be the bilateral oil drop cataract will be seen in galactosemia which is one of the classical feature. Now how to do the diagnosis of galactosemia? So as this galactose will be excreted in the urine and it is an example of reducing sugar so the Benedict test will be positive but the glucose oxidase peroxidase test will be negative. Apart from that mucic acid test will also be positive. Now how to treat the galactosemia? So give the lactose free diet till 4 years of age, breast milk to be avoided and after 4 years of age another enzyme that is galactose 1-phosphate pyrophosphorylase will get active which will which will decrease the level of galactose 1-phosphate in the blood. So that is all about galactosemia. Thank you.